Do, 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 do. Welcome to the Grim Grim Circus. <laughs> we got zombie circus. If you like circuses, then this is the one for you. We got a bunch of zombies, so we're gonna play first. Here's our commander. Who are we up against? All right. Zombie versus zombie. I can get behind this. Let's check out our. Yeah, this is not bad. We got enough mana. Uh, Kalitas and reform. Yeah, we're gonna keep. Get Grim, there we go, get Grim Grim going. So right now, I'm going to play Sunken Hollow, because we don't have anything cost one or two, and that way we can come in and play tapped. But, um, yeah, this deck right here, its uh, if you haven't seen it before, it's just kind of like a zombie tribal a little bit, but also um, some value creatures. So like when we sacrifice this with uh, Grim Grim, we'll get a uh, token on the battlefield. So right now, I'm going to grab Marsh Flats. Grab an underground sea. Play Shepherd of Rot. If we tap for black mana, there we go. I uh, I love this block. Onslaught is one of my favorite blocks in like the whole zombie aspect, and especially Shepherd of Rot himself. I just I don't know. I I love just each player loses one life for each zombie. Oh, and it also combo with a uh, Cedrus. So. Uh, because it'll count his zombie. So if he's got zombie travel too, then we can have some fun. So we've got two black sources. We'll play uh, Manamo. And instead of attacking, if he happens to play a zombie, then we can tap for Shepherd of Rot and uh, get our life total down. So we'll just do that instead of swinging him. I like that uh, big stick he's got carrying. Oh, that's an axe. Ooh, wow, that's a that's a mean one. Some teeth on the the end of the head. It's a pretty sweet axe. So you got Death Baron, and that Lord only applies to him. But we can activate Shepherd of Rot for two, so we're gonna do that. Hopefully, we can outrace him. That's what I'm hoping for. Play Polluted Delta. Grab a Swamp. And... I don't know if we want to get Reformed. Well, yeah, let's get Reformed down. That way we can, next turn we can get Grim Grim down and start sacking it. And then we'll have a 3-3 three, three swinging in instead of a 0-1. Yeah, I like that. And once again, we're going to hold off on Shepard. Hopefully keep his life total pretty close to what we've got going on. So he takes out the... Uh... <laughs> oh man, come on. That was the school at the water's edge. You didn't have to blow that up. But that does set us back on uh, Grim Grim. He's swinging for two. You know, I want to keep the pressure on, so we're going to keep activating uh, Shepherd of Rot. Let's... We'll play Swamp. Get down to uh, Kalitas. So his... Uh, others... Does, yeah, doesn't he doesn't have Death Touch. The Death Baron doesn't have Death Touch. So if he swings in, then we can uh, block it with uh, Kalitas. Okay, we get Dreadboard. Sure. So when we sack that 3-3, three, three, then we can turn it into a 6-6, six, six, and then we can turn it to 9-9, nine, nine, since uh, Grim, Grim Grim has a... Uh... Well, do we want to block now? I guess we could. Because that'll kill it and make it a 3-3. Three, three. But... Yeah, no, I'll take the two, because if he has a removal spell, and then he can kill, though. I'd rather have a sack outlet to be able to do it in response to something. So I'll activate Shepard. Slowly bringing him down into the uh, corpse pile with this. Ooh, mirror match, sweet. So we're going to play Drown Catacomb. Get Grim Grim down.
And then we'll wait. You know, if he tries to kill something, then I'll uh, use Grim Grim to activate it, his uh, sack ability. But if not, then we can declare reform a blocker on Death Baron and then sacrifice it. Zombie Cat. Give you upkeep. Exile a creature, put a plus one. <laughs> Little zombie cat eating all the all the dudes in the graveyard. Okay, so we're gonna declare blocker. Sacrifice a creature. Get a three three. And then we're going to activate Shepherd again. And I'm going to go ahead and activate Grim Grim to get a 6. I want to get to a 9-9. Nine nine. If it's a kill spell, he has a kill spell. Yeah. <laughs> Let's turn that well into a Kraken. There we go, I like that. Reforming Deck Kraken, that's sweet. So we're going to play Swamp. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have enough to do Mirror Match next turn, and then we can sacrifice all those creatures. Let's come in. This does have Death Touch. Hmm. Oh, we can destroy it when he attacks, duh. There we go. So we're going to declare attackers. Ooh, okay. Um Yeah, and we can he cannot sacrifice himself. Okay, nice. Well, I guess we'll hold off, yeah. We'll get Messenger down. And then we can sack Messenger next turn. And then we can try uh, Grim Grim again. So the cat eats our reform. He must like fish. Oh, I just now noticed our, our opponent is, uh, I guess he's lacking some blue mana. I just now realized he hadn't had uh, access to blue yet. Alright, so we're going to sack the messenger. Undying will bring it back onto the battlefield. He's going to lose two life. He's got a 26. Now, do we want to activate Shepherd of Rot? We're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we'll go to 11. He'll go to 21. We can always mirror match next turn if he wants to swing in. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's go. Shepherd of Rot. So we play Command Tower. Let's see if we can get through the combat step. We're going to destroy the cat. Okay, so he blocks right there. He goes to eight. So we've got one, two, three. So we can pop Shepherd of Rot for three. And then next, yeah, we should have it next turn. So just in case he gets into something crazy with uh, like a haste creature or something, then we can pop Mirror Match. And I guess an argument could be made for Fleshbag next turn and trying to swing in but uh yeah he concedes so we got the game all right guys if you enjoyed the video like and subscribe thanks